open minds, safe places, surrendering, and utterance of your glorified traces. Lord, we owe everything to you. Nothing we ever do will ever compare to the blessing you gave us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, your son. Through him, our sins have been forgiven. Through him, we are given the chance to have a relationship with you, O Lord. My fellow brothers and sisters, I pray that this new ministry be that safe place of discussion, praise, and prayer. Lord, my eyes are open, my ears are open, my heart is open to you. Please use me as your vessel. May your love, your light, your wisdom shine through to glorify you. I ask that what we have discussed, that what we have to discuss today be covered and protected in your mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray amen and amen. Guys, welcome to Cup of Joy Ministry. I have mine. I hope you have yours. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a new ministry, and just like I have mentioned in that prayer, this is a safe place. This is a place I want you to feel that you can talk about anything, that we can praise the Lord, that we can pray for each other. And most of all, this is that safe place. This is home. Home. Welcome home. So as I was praying today, God gave me a revelation, and he wanted me to focus on a certain scripture passage. So if you have your Bibles, I ask that you open them. If you don't have one, please go on your Google store. There's so many that are free. Today, I will be referencing the New King James Version. So open them up, Matthew chapter 22. I'm going to start and buy them. So says and Jesus answered and spoke to them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged a marriage for his son and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding and they were not willing to come again he sent out other servants saying tell those who were invited see I have prepared my dinner my oxen and fatted cattle are killed and all things are ready. Come to the wedding. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his own farm, another to his business. And the rest seized his servants, treated them spitefully, and killed them. But when the king heard about it, he was furious, and he sent out his armies, destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore, go into the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he saw a man there who did not have on a wedding garment. So he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the servants, Find him hand and foot, take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. My friends, remember that last verse. Hold it in your heart dearly, for many are called, but few are chosen. We're going to come right back to that, but for right now, go to verse 2. The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged a marriage for his son, God is arranging a marriage for his son, Jesus Christ. If you jump forward to Ephesians 5, we learn Christ marries the church. We, we are the church. His return is that wedding, that celebration. Right now, the Father wants us to gather people for the wedding. Let that sink in. There's a whole wedding, a whole celebration about to happen. Jesus is going to come. He's going to return for his bride, for his church, for us. But for right now, we need to gather people. And the only way to do that is we ourselves need to be chosen. 
So let's go back to, Ma to Matthew 22, verse 14, where I said to hold it in your heart, hold it dearly. For many are called, but few are chosen. To be chosen, you are to be holy. You are to be sanctified. You are to be separated from the world. You are to give yourself, your old life, up to Jesus, up to God, and surrender. Submit yourself. Claim, live, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Guys, I need to be real with you right now. One, my arm's getting tired. So bear with me here, please. <laughs> Two, the time is coming. Jesus will be returning. The day we don't know. The hour we don't know. That's something only God knows. But for right now, we are all given a mission and a purpose here. And the funny thing is, is I was just talking about this with a couple at church today. Um, you may be wondering, it's not Sunday. Why are you there? Unfortunately, we did have a dear sister um, pass away, but, you know, celebration of life. She's in the best place possible right now. So anyway, back to the story. I was discussing with this couple how they're starting this program within the church. And one of the topics that was brought to them was how God gives us each individually a purpose of how he wants us to glorify him of how he wants us to serve him and we were going on you know what what do we have what can we do so this is just an introductory video to this ministry to cup of joy ministry this is going to be that place where we will be having discussions Casual discussions and even hot topic discussions things that need to be said and I believe That the Bible is God's Word so that is what we will be referencing that is what we will be talking about that is what will be the foundation of every single video and the main thing with this channel with this ministry is I will be utilizing what I have to gather people. So study Matthew 22. Talk to God. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Because anything that you hear, not just from me, but from anybody who has a prophetic message, who has advice, even your pastor, take it up to God. Because as humans, we make mistakes. As humans, we are all sinners. The only perfect one is Jesus himself, is God himself. Take it up. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. But in the meantime, let's celebrate. Let's prepare for the party. Let's prepare for the wedding. Let's prepare for the celebration. If you haven't already accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I pray that God clear the way for you. I pray that he opens up your hearts. Some may be instantly, some it may take time, but I pray that he does it in a way that you best understand. And if it's you watching this channel and you feel ready to give your life to God, don't wait. Don't wait. Join me. Help me gather people for the wedding. Because the day is coming. And I don't know about you, but I want to celebrate. I want to party with God. As corny as it sounds, it's true. So I just wanted to talk about that today. Like I said, this is just simple intro. We will be discussing more. Please like, subscribe share this video join me on this journey you're not in it alone you have people to support you like i said welcome home welcome home have a good night guys 
And before I forget, if you have any questions, if you have any prayer requests, if you have any testimonies, please feel free to email me, cupofjoyministry at gmail.com. Thank you again. Glory be to God. I love you all. Have a good night. Bye.